Welcome to Refashion Revision, a show where I take outdated clothes and update it into new. In this episode, I will be turning a size 6 woman's suit into a business appropriate dress. I cannot take any credit for this creativity, however. I saw it on Sewing Polar Bear's Instagram page and thought it was so clever to use the bottom of the pant legs as a top piece. So go check her out and give her some love, and now let's get started. What you'll need is scissors, thread, 12 inch zipper, and a seam ripper. Unstitch the pants in the front and the back. Cut the excess fabric so it is straight. Mark where you want to cut. I cut mine 2 inches below my kneecap. I think it looks like gaucho pants when holding it up. Try in the pants, then pinch the sides to measure how much you need to take in. Unstitch all the way up to the waistband, then sew it closed straight down, and repeat in the front. Take in the sides, I took about two and a half inches off from both sides. Then cut off the excess fabric. Make sure the bottom is even. Fold twice and sew a hem. Unstitch one of the pant legs so you can put a zipper in the middle. the wrist tie and the buttons. I played around with the design but decided not to use the buttons because I felt it made it more casual and kind of like overalls. I planned on using the bottom hem of the trouser as the top so it was less work but it was stained and worn out so I used the other side. Fold and hem the top. Before sewing, iron it first so it makes it easier. Then hem the bottom, the top, and sew the straps on and you're done! This is the before and the after. Do you like it? I paired it with the belt. I do wish I got a right size zipper. I got the 7 inch one which ended up being too short. So if I got a 12 inch one, it could have fit better and not as bunched. But oh well, that's what I love about sewing. The more you sew, the better and faster you get. So if you're intimidated by sewing, just do it. You will never become good by not doing it. So it is with life. Maybe it's this calm music that is bringing out this side of me, but sometimes we get so caught up in having our outcome needing to be perfect that we don't even try out of overwhelm or fear. But as long as you're learning, you are being perfected. That's what perfection means. Perfecting yourself happens during your journey and not at the finish line. This project cost me $8. It would take about 3 hours and the skill level is intermediate. Keep watching for behind the scenes. I'd love for you to give me a thumbs up, like, and comment if you'd like to see more of these episodes. See you next week! I was sewing the seams closed and to make sure I was doing it right, I turned it over and lo and behold, I was not. Wow, third time is not the charm. I think it's a sign that I need to go to bed and sew tomorrow. So I will try this tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> After I unpick it. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Oh my gosh. It's been so long since I've done a zipper that I'm not sure where to change. <laughs> I'll probably have to watch a YouTube video. Just goes to show that if I can sew, anybody can sew. The zipper foot used to be this. Oops, just kidding! I'm watching the video and I have the zipper foot. So, thank you YouTube.